whenever a child goes missing, and it doesn't matter where that child goes missing from, it strikes fear in the hearts of a community. Today, I'd like to talk to you and tell you about a child who has been missing since July 29th. July 29th at 6.30 p.m. approximately. Five-year-old Michael Joseph Vaughn, a.k.a. Monkey, disappeared from his front yard and has not been seen since. Michael Joseph Vaughn vanished into thin air. There are no tracks that show in, in that have been found in the grassy area behind the family home or anywhere that shows that Michael may have wandered out or gotten out over the top of the chain link fence and walked away on his own. If Michael did climb the fence, he had to have left through the front yard and he had to have gone that way. Did someone take Michael? Did Michael wander away on his own? At this point, ladies and gentlemen, everything is an option out there. Nothing has been closed yet. There are no signs at all or accusations that the parents or anyone involved who lived in that home is responsible for the disappearance of Michael Joseph Vaughn. But today, I want to tell you about Michael. The picture you see on your screen is a five-year-old Michael Joseph Vaughn, Monkey, as everybody who knew him called him. Monkey disappeared without a trace, and he is out there somewhere. There are no signs of foul play, again, no forced entry, and nobody, you know, um, was seen lurking in and around the area. All surveillance video footage for the Fruitland, Idaho area have been checked to this point, and no strange vehicles have been seen in town. At this point, it's either an abduction from somebody who is in the actual area, or it's Michael who wandered away into a wooded area by himself. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is entirely possible if jo Michael Joseph Vaughn wandered away into the woods by himself, he very well could be alive at this point. He would be extraordinarily hungry and probably, you know, um, dehydrated, but he would possibly be alive at this point. We are not giving up hope in getting Michael back home to his family. But at this point, we need your help. We need your eyes. We need those viewers out there of mine who are in this area, and I know there are a lot of viewers of this content in that area of Idaho who could maybe have seen something. Maybe they heard something or heard somebody over talk and talking. There's some somebody out there. A description briefly about what Michael Vaughn you know, um, looked like. Michael Vaughn is three foot seven, approximately fifty pounds. Blonde hair cut into a faux hawk style, which is extraordinarily short on the sides, but longer on the top that can be combed over into a point at the top to make kind of look like a mohawk, but blonde hair. Blue eyes. With Michael has no actual um, scars or distinguishing birthmarks on the outside of his body. He is a um, five years old again. He and he is in was in tip top um, health, you know, physical health and mental health. The, for him to want to wander away on his own, it is is something that nobody believes that he he would have done, unless something tragic happened, like he fell into a ravine or what is something along those lines. Idaho State Police. The Payette County Sheriff's Department, the Fruitland Police Department, Crime Stoppers along with volunteer search and rescue groups, Idaho Land, Water, and Mountain Rescue, Local Dive Rescue, and the FBI are all out right now today and have been since July 29th looking for Michael. They're going to find Michael one way or another. Somebody knows something. 
Again, it's highly unlikely that Michael walked away on his own. At this point, we need to find Michael, and that's what we need to focus on. The disappearance of a child, any child, regardless of where it happens, is important. If you see something, say something. If you know something, say something. Over 290 tips have poured into the local numbers, which I will link in the description below. If you have a tip that you think the police department should, should know, call today. Call right now. Don't wait until later and put it off until you're after you're done with something else. If you know something, call now. Five years old. My son is five years old. And I can't tell you just how much the fear it strikes in the heart of every single parent out there the moment you realize you can't find your your child even for a minute they're gone just like that in the blink of an eye they're right there in front of you and the next thing you know they're a hundred yards away how could it possibly have gotten that far? Help find Michael Joseph Vaughn today. Help bring Monkey back home to his family. Thank you. Thank you.